Okay, so we have the base of our model defined. And if we pull in some references, you'll notice that not only we have these ridges and these mounts, but we also have some grooves that are created mainly by the erosion of the air. So I want to mimic these grooves and add a little bit of detail to our terrain. So let's work on that now. To do that, I'm going to use the same base height field, of course, but I will create another branch that can later be added to the base of the terrain. So let's start again with our height field noise. Connect it to our base height field. And this time we'll make both the amplitude and the element size extremely small. I will go with an amplitude of 0.2. So this would be 20 centimeters. And the element size about 6 or 7. So notice how we starting to have a very small pattern going on here. So one thing I need to create is this stripe or this elongated feeling that we saw on the reference. And we can do that by scaling one of the axes of the noise. So let's scale the C axis to 0.1. And notice how we're now getting this striped feeling or this elongated feeling. I think we can even go lower than this. Let's try with 0 0.025. Let's try even lower. Okay, so let's go with this. One thing I'm going to do as well is change the noise to our whirly cellular. So of course we don't want this very regular and linear direction. We will need to add some distortion to make these grooves feel a bit more natural and probably flow with the mounts and the curvature of the terrain. So. Now let's add a height field distort by noise. Connect it just below our height field noise. And although the current values are quite extreme, we'll start getting some curvature and some nice flow to these curves. So let's decrease the amplitude. can probably even increase the element size. And I'd say before we go too far with these elements, let's start adding them to our main terrain. So just below my height field distort on the main terrain element, I will add a height field layer node. Now we use this node on the chapter number one. Basically what we want to do is layer two height fields together and connect our main tree to the first input of the layer node and the second noise to the second input of the layer node. Now remember by default the layer mode is set to replace. So let's change the mode to add. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere with these two elements combined. As I mentioned before, here the important thing is that you're happy with what you're looking for in your features and your terrain. So before we continue, let's add a camera and a point of view that we will use for our final render. So I'm going to pull back 
probably center the terrain overall and I will start with a very low angle and reveal the background layers as we move forward on the animation so probably something like this will do so to create the camera click here under the camera menu and look for the new camera option so it is very important to define the camera point of view early on your modeling stages because this way you will have a feeling of the amount of detail that you need to put into your terrain and also the features that you're creating so let's arrange our notes just a bit let's call this camera render cam and let's dive back into our dunes to tweak this grooves pattern so one very important thing that I might need to do towards the end of this exercise is increase the overall resolution of our height field so what I usually do is start working with a relatively low resolution and once I'm approaching the final stages I can start increasing the resolution just to see the final detail so let's go back to our height field and decrease the grid spacing by half so I'll use 0.25 of course it may take a bit longer to calculate but we'll need to see the finer detail on these grooves now although we have seen most of these nodes along the way I will show you a few height field utility nodes that will help us in the process of creating more complex terrains so one thing that I'm going to do now is change the overall angle of these grooves so I'm kind of liking the feeling but currently I can see a couple of things that I'm not loving first of all they are probably too high also currently the angle of the grooves is very aligned to the camera and that's something I'm going to change and finally and probably the most obvious thing that I can see is that these grooves are uniform all over the terrain we might want to create a mask to have these grooves see through only on certain areas of the terrain so let's start with the easiest aspect the height of these grooves so let's go back to the noise that is generating them and let's decrease the amplitude to about the half let's start with 0.1 and I think this could work now let's decrease again the resolution I really don't want to keep you waiting here uh, of course we can go back to the final resolution before rendering and now let's change the overall direction of these grooves so I'm going to lay down a node called height field transform I will connect it just below my height field noise and let's call this noise grooves and what I'm going to do with the height field transform is rotate this pattern on the Y axis so let's try rotating by 30 degrees and this is something that I'm liking much more so now the pattern is crossing more or less diagonally to the camera which I think looks much more pleasing okay so now let's address the masking of this element so one thing I have very clear in my mind is I want to retain these sharp ridges or sharp edges so I'm going to try to mask these elements so the grooves are not so destructive here and mainly to break the pattern overall so let's go back to our first noise this whirly pattern and what I'm going to do is take advantage of the detail that we have on this part of the terrain 
to mask certain areas.